Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I clean my brushes and it's so important not only to get a flawless makeup application and for the blending, but also to prevent breakouts. The frequency that you clean your brushes depends on how often you use them. This brush for example was only used with one makeup application and the bristles no longer look great. So I would recommend washing your foundation brush at least every other day to prevent bacteria and breakouts. I have been cleaning my brushes using the Real Techniques Cleansing Palette by Sam & Neck. I wanted to give it a try just because I love Pixie Woo and I feel that they're very honest in every video that they make. So I basically just put my hand right through it and then I will be applying a dime size amount of the cleansing gel sample that came in this palette and then I just dampen up my brush or soak it up just a little bit and then I will swirl it all around my palette. This is the easiest way for me and as you can see there's different designs on the palette which are meant for different size brushes but I prefer just to swirl it all around and I mainly focus right on the center. The makeup comes right off and very easy. Very simple and once you're done with that you want to go ahead and just rinse it out with some warm water. Make sure you do not get any water um, past the bristles only because you don't want any water to get trapped in your brush which can create mold bacteria and it can also loosen up the glue. And then I do like to leave it damp just so that I can shape it. I know a lot of people like drying it a little more but this helps keeping my brushes in the shape that they are and I've done this for years it works amazing for me then I just lay them flat overnight to dry on a paper towel if your brushes have lost their shape you can also use some brush guard which I haven't had the need to just because of this technique that I've used for so many years it's worked great now I'm gonna go back to my shampoo and I'm gonna show you all how this brush uh, cleans out it's a white one that I allow to get dirty so you can see the performance of this palette sometimes white bristle brushes get stained very easily and it's very difficult to remove those stains so you'll see in here um, my shampoo actually created a little more um, studs which helps clean out the brushes some more and when I buy a shampoo I either use a baby shampoo or a shampoo that does not have a lot of harsh chemicals and then I just swirl my brush around and it did a really really good job at cleaning my white bristle brush which is very impressive because a lot of times it's very difficult to remove those stains. I'll repeat the same process and just um, remove the excess water, shape it, and allow it to dry. Then I'm going to show you another brush here that I purposely um, colored with some red eyeshadow just so that you can see. It will clean it out really good, but then it still leaves just a little bit of the red residue from the eyeshadow on the tip of the brush since it is a white bristle. Um, so what I recommend doing in this case if the stain is stubborn is taking a white dove soap and then swirling it right around. And for some reason the white dove soap really helps with removing any stains. Another way that I like to speed things up is I take two or three, maybe even four brushes that are very similar and then I just swirl them all around, all together and this palette makes it a lot easier to remove all that stubborn makeup. Then I just rinse them all out together and then I shape them separately and then lay them flat to dry overnight. And it's as simple as that and I want to tell you guys that having clean brushes is what helps my makeup applications look flawless. It's so important to have clean brushes. I hope that y'all liked this video, found it helpful. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see y'all really soon with more videos.